what I, um, let's see if I can pull it up. Um, so I wrote a Medium blog, um, and I'm going to put it in the chat, um, where I basically gave uh, uh, teachers like a starter pack of where to start. Um, so I'm just Googling it right now. Um, math history, K to 12, it should come up. Oh yeah, so it's called How to Begin Bringing Rich in and Inclusive uh, Math History Resources. And it just turns out that in it is actually the, um, I'm gonna put it in our chat, is also the names of all those mathematicians. There's a slide for it. So I've just put that in the chat. So how to begin bringing. So the, the keyword is, you know, begin bringing. Um, I know that uh, as you're maybe hearing um, me speak, um, you know, I don't, I'm not a big fan of the E word, which is expert. I, I don't, I don't really consider myself, I don't even know what that means. Uh, I'm a learner, uh, first and foremost, I will be. That's, that's ironically one of the roles of a teacher is to be one of the best learners you can be. So it's not like Amazon arrived, uh, uh, you know, with a big box of math history books, uh, you know, three years ago, and I just sort of memorized it all. This is like a 20-year journey. And I think the one thing which I can really impress upon all of you, as I sort of uh, spoke to Sean before we recorded, is be comfortable with where you are, uh, wherever it is. Uh, if you've never even ta told a math uh, story, that's fine. You, we all have to begin somewhere. And your journey is going to be your journey, and it's going to be a beautiful journey. And, you know, I, I think that's the most important thing. We can still be this collective. We can be in different parts, but we can still be this strong collective. Thank you. Um, we've got two questions that um, we can – the first person that, that I get to see is Alabunni. I hope I've got that name right. He says – or she says – why do we have prof professors of mathematics that their children are not good at maths? So perhaps the other way is what Lord Lena was speaking about. Um, why do we have some students or, or children who do not follow on with, with, from professors of mathematics? Uh, that's, I, I actually don't think that is that unusual. It can sometimes go in both directions. You know, you obviously want to follow in the footsteps of your... Uh, uh, parents who uh, have this uh, rich math background. But I can also see going the other way where the pressure to live up to uh, liking mathematics, uh, being good at it. Um, there's a New York Times article that came out three years ago. The, uh, the number one contributor to the cause of math anxiety is parents helping students with their homework. And I can see that students would suffer under the shadows of um, you know, parents who have our professors in mathematics, um, it depends on the person. Uh, some, you know, they, they, they might be of the ilk where they just say, you know, do what you want, be happy, and, and maybe they'll find their own path, but maybe there is a, some sort of subconscious or, um, you know, implied pressure that you have to be at least halfway as good as I am. So I'm not, I'm not at all surprised where students would go in the other direction, unfortunately. 